started playing music when I was quite young, must have been three or four or something, in preschool, playing the drums, oh, hitting them, and then started playing the recorder um, through like school. And then I started playing the piano and the guitar when I was like 13, 14, and then, like producing songs when I was like 15. Young days, making trip hop at one point when I was, yeah, I didn't have any friends in like year nine, made trip hop. I I've never really not been playing music. I was in a metal band for a little while. That was pretty fun. I was the front man. At one point there were three front men and I was one of the front men. So that was fun. I left that and then we formed Birdsong, like the three of us. Like me, Matt and Barnaby. And then, yeah, we played live probably like 20 times or something. That was pretty cool over two years. Played a lot of venues. 100 Club, Roundhouse. There was points when we'd have like kind of 60 to 100 people like all just kind of going fucking insane while we were playing music, which is a really cool feeling, like kind of controlling a crowd like that. And then the other day, that was my first gig with the solo stuff, then you cross in, that was cool. So that's like a new project I've been working on since we sort of stopped doing the bird song thing, um, which is like more sort of personal and like more kind of powerful sort of um, ambient almost at times kind of post rock stuff which is nice I really like that so that was an that was really nice that experience with this with this thing I'm not sure what the message is at this point I'm kind of feeling it out because when you put lots of different songs together you create this little world kind of thing where like the world looks a certain way because you've described it so many times in so many songs that like you create a little kind of image like a philosophy of what it is and then you can put forward like a message and look for it but at this point I don't really know what it is it seems most of the songs are sort of more like personal and internal than I've ever done when the first idea comes and then you think shit like this is going to be a thing like, yeah, there's a few songs where you sort of sit down and I was playing them on the piano and just been like, oh yeah, pretty proud of that, cool. And then you spend a few hours making it and then you're like, wow, that's cool. When it happens quickly, it's nice. I wrote a song, one of the songs I wrote called Are You Sure? That one. That was maybe one of my proudest moments. Just make it better, keep doing it, make it really good to the point where it's just really good. Just like kind of professionally like recorded and produced and put out live in a way that just completely blows your socks off like you know just like kind of twisting everyone's you know nuts a bit with some cool shit and just to like have ridiculously professional things happening everywhere and to be like, oh, I want to make this movie, I'll go make that movie, and then you just, you know, rather than the like, I'm gonna have a nice house and like, scum about, you know. Still probably just drink Cronenberg. Yeah. Music is so like, emotionally driven and like, you can't really go a day without hearing songs like, everywhere. And, like, it is just like the most inclusive thing really. I don't really know anyone who doesn't like music. People really connect with it in a way that I'm not sure they do with other art forms. There's some, there's some emotional response when we hear melody and rhythms and we can assign our own things to it and it's beautiful and like, everyone can do it. You know, so like, maybe it could be something like, to do with strength and like emotions and you know, feeling good, maybe. So yeah, you don't want to alienate them at all, the audience I think when you're doing something like that, where you're trying to like include loads of people in like an emotional response. Like, that's the thing, because as far as I take it away from like kind of standard pop music, I've always tried to put something in, like a melody or something, where you can go, oh, I like that. Yeah, so that you can get that like wider audience kind of thing without sacrificing like doing cool stuff. You, know, you need that level of like communication with the audience, I think. Otherwise you're just shouting yourself in the dark. <laughs>